Hi, I'm back. I'll be reading some more from the Bible. I'll be and I am and I am using the reading plan from the Daily Audio Bible app. And I'm gonna be reading for February eleventh, twenty twenty one. And I will be reading Exodus chapter thirty two. 32 verse 1 to Exodus chapter 33 verse 23. Verse 23. Exodus chapter 32. Exodus chapter 32. 32 verse 1. 3. I mean, breaking the law. The Golden Calf, Exodus chapter 32. When the people saw that Moses was so long in coming down from the, from the mountain, they gathered around Aaron and said, Come, make us gods who will, who will go before us. before us. As for this fellow Moses, who brought us up out of Egypt, we don't know what has happened to him. Aaron answered them, Take off. The gold earrings that your wives, your sons, and your and your daughters are wearing, and bring them to me. So all the people took off their earrings and brought them to Aaron. He took what they handed him and made it into an into an into an idol cast in the in the shape of a calf, fastening it with a tool. Then they said, "These are your gods, Israel, who brought you up." Out of Egypt. When Aaron saw this, he built an altar. He built an altar in front of the calf and announced, "Tomorrow there will be a festival to the Lord." So the next day, the people rose early and sacrificed burnt offerings and presented fellowship offerings. Afterward, they sat down to eat and drink and got up to indulge in rivalry. Then the Lord said to Moses, "Go down, because because your people whom you whom you brought up out of Egypt have become corrupt. They have been quick to to turn away from what I, from what I commanded them, and have made the, themselves an idol cast in the shape of a calf. They have they have bowed down to it and sacrificed to it, and and have said." These are your gods, Israel, who brought you up out of Egypt. Out of Egypt. Are you seeing these people? The Lord said to Moses, and they are, and they are. A stiff-necked people. Now leave me alone so, so that my anger may burn against them, and that I may, I may, I may destroy them. Then I will make you in two. A great nation, but Moses sought the favor of the Lord as God. Lord, he said, Why should your anger burn against your people, whom you whom you brought out of Egypt with great power and a and a mighty hand? Why should the Egyptians say it was with it was with evil intent that he that that he that he that he brought them out to kill them in the mountains and to and to wipe them off the face of the earth. Turn from your fierce anger, relent, and do not bring disaster on your people. Remember your yo 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 your servants Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, to whom you swore by your by your own self. I will make your descendants as numerous as the stars in the sky. And I will give your descendants all this, all this, all this land. I promise them, and I will, and it, and it will be their inheritance forever. Then the Lord relented and did not bring on his people the disaster he had threatened. Moses turned and went down the mountain with the two tablets of the covenant law in his hands. They were inscribed on both sides, front and back. The tablets were the were the work of God. The writing was the writing of God engraven on the tablets. When Joshua heard the noise of the other people shouting 
He said, "To to to Moses, there is, there is, there is, the sound of war in the camp." Moses replied, "It is not the sound of victory. It is not the sound of defeat. It is, it is, the sound of singing that I hear, that I hear." When Moses approached the camp and saw the calf and the dancing, his anger burned, and he threw the tablets out of his hands, breaking them to pieces at the foot of the mountain. And he took the calf the people had made and burned it in the fire. Then he then he ground it to powder, scattered it on the water, and made the Israelites drink it. He said to Aaron, "What did these these these?" The, these people, these people, do to you that you led them into such great sin. Do not be angry, my lord. Aaron answered, "You know how prone these people, these people, are to 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 evil." They said to me, "Make us gods who will go before us." As for this fellow Moses, who brought us, who brought us up out of, out of Egypt, we don't know. What has happened to him? So I told them, whoever has any gold jewelry, take it off. Then they gave me the gold, and I, and I, and I threw it into the fire. And out came this calf. Moses saw that the people were running wild, and that Aaron had let them get out of get out of control, and so become a laughing stock to their enemies. So he stood. At the entrance to the camp, and said, "Whoever is for the Lord, come to me." And all the and all the Levites rallied to him. Then he said to them, "This is what the Lord, the God of Israel, says: Each man strap a sword to his side, go back and forth through the through the camp from one end to the to the other, each killing his brother." And friend and neighbor, the Levites did as Moses commanded, and that day about about three thousand other people died. Then Moses said, "You have been, you have been set apart to the Lord today, for you were against your own sons and brothers, and He has blessed you this day." The next day, Moses said to the to the people. You have committed a great sin, but now I will go up to the Lord. Perhaps I can make atonement for your sin. So Moses went back to the Lord and said, "Oh, what a what a great sin these people have have committed! They have made themselves gods of gold. But now, please, but now, please, please forgive their sin. But if, but if." But if not, then brought me out of the book you have written. The Lord replied to Moses, "Whoever has sinned against me, I will, I will brought out of my book. Now go, lead the lead the people to the place I spoke of, and and my angel will go before you. However, when the time comes for me to punish." I will punish them for their sin, for their sin, and the Lord struck the people with a plague, because of what? Because of what they did with the with the calf Aaron had made. Aaron, effective teamwork happens when each team member uses his or her special skills. Ideally. Each member's strengths will contribute will contribute something important to the team effort. In this way, members make up for for one another's weaknesses. Aaron made a good team with with Moses. He provided Moses with one skill with 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 one 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 skill Moses lacked: effective public speaking. But why are Aaron? Was necessary to Moses. He needed Moses as well. Without a guide, Aaron had little had 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 little direction of his own. There was never any doubt as to who as to who God's chosen 
and train leader was. The the pliability that made that made Aaron a good follower made him a weak leader. His major his major failures were 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 caused by his inability to stand alone. His yielding to public pressure and making an idol was 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 a was a good example of this weakness. Most of us have 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 have. Have more of the follower than the leader in us. We may eat. We may even be 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 good followers, following a good leader. But no leader is perfect, and no human deserves our complete, our complete alliance. Only God deserves our complete loyalty and obedience. We need to be to be to be to be to be. To be effective team members in using the skills and abilities God has given us, but if the team or the leader goes against God's word, we must be willing to stand alone. To stand alone, strengths and accomplishments. First high, first high priest of God in Israel, effective communicator, Moses mouth. Peace, weaknesses and mistakes, pliable personality, gave in to people's demands for a golden for a golden calf, joined with Moses in disobeying God's orders about 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 the about the about the water giving walk, joined joined sister M I R I A M in complaining against Moses. Lessons from his life. God gives, God gives individual special abilities, which he weaves together for his use. The very skills that make a a a good team player sometimes also make a poor leader. Vital statistics: Where Egypt, Desert Sinai, occupations. Priest Moses is second. In command, in command, relatives, brothers, Moses, sister, M I R I A M, sons, N A D A B, A B I H U, E L E A Z A R, and I T H A M A R. Key verses. Then the Lord's anger burned against Moses, and he said, "What about your brother Aaron, the Levite?" I know he can. He can speak well. He is already on his way to meet you, and he will be glad to see you. He will speak to the people for you, and it and it will be and it will be, as if as if he were your mouth, and if and as if and as if you you were God to him. Exodus chapter four verses fourteen and verse and verse sixteen. Aaron's story is told. In Exodus chapter one verse one to Deuteronomy chapter ten verse six, he is also mentioned in Hebrews chapter seven verse eleven. <laughs> Exodus chapter thirty-three. Then the Lord said to Moses, "Lead this place, you and the people you brought up." Out of Egypt and go to the land I promise on oath to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, saying, "I will give it to your descendants. I will send an angel before you and drive out and drive out the Canaanites, Amorites, H I T T I T E S P E R I Z Z I T E S H I V I T E S and J E B U S I T E S. Go up." To the to the to the land flowing with milk and honey, but I will not go with you because you are a a a stiff-necked people, and I might and I might destroy you on the way, on the way. When the people heard these these distressing words, they began to mourn, and no no one put on any ornaments, for the Lord had said to Moses. To the Israelites, you are a you are a stiff-necked people, 
if I were to go with with you, with you, even for a moment, I might destroy you. Now take off your ornaments, and I will decide what to do with you. So the Israelites stripped off their ornaments at Mount H O R E B. The tent of meeting. Now Moses used to take a tent and pitch it outside the camp, some some distance away, calling it the tent of meeting. Anyone inquiring of the Lord will go to the tent of meeting outside the camp. And whenever Moses Moses went out to the tent, all the people rose and stood at the entrance to their tents, watching Moses until he entered the tent. As Moses went into the tent, the pillar of cloud would come, would come down and stay at the entrance. While the Lord, while while the Lord spoke with Moses, whenever the people saw the pillar of cloud standing at the entrance to the tent, they all stood and worshipped. Each at each at the entrance to their tent, the Lord would speak to Moses. Face to face, as one as one speaks to a friend, that Moses would 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 we turn to to the camp, but his young but his young age Joshua, son of Enuen, did not leave the tent. Did not leave the tent. Moses and the glory of the Lord. Moses said to the Lord, "You have been telling me lead these people, but you have." Not, but you have not. Let me know whom you will, whom you will send with me. You have said, I know you by name, and you and you have 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 found favor with me. If you are pleased with me, teach me your ways, so I may know you and continue to find favor with you. Remember that this nation is your people. The Lord replied, My presence. We'll go with you, and I will give you rest. The Moses said to him, "If your presence does not does not does not go with us, do not send us. Do do not do not send us send us up from here. How will anyone know that you are that you are pleased with me and with your people unless you go with us? What at what else we will?" Distinguish me and your people from all, from all the other people on the face of the earth. And the Lord said to Moses, "I would do the very thing you have asked, because I am pleased with you and I know you by name." Then Moses said, "Now show me your glory." And the Lord said, "I will cause all my all my goodness to pass in front of you." And I will, and I will, and I will, and I will proclaim my name, the Lord, in your presence, in your presence. I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy, and I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. But he said, "You cannot see my face, for no one may see me and live, and live." Then the Lord said. There is a place near me where you may stand on a rock. When my glory passes by, I will put I will put you in a cleft in the rock and cover you with with my hand until I until I have 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 passed by. Then I will remove my hand and you will see my back, but my face, but my but my face. Must not be seen. Must not be seen. Matthew chapter twenty-six, verses sixty-nine to Matthew chapter twenty-seven, verse fourteen. Matthew chapter twenty-six. Matthew chapter twenty-six, verse sixty-nine. 
Peter denies knowing Jesus. Mark chapter 14, verses 66 to 72. Luke chapter 22, verses 54 to 65. John chapter 18, verses 25 to 27. Now Peter was sitting out in the courtyard, and a servant girl came to him. You also were, were with Jesus at Galilee, she said, but he, but he, but he, but he denied, denied it before them all. I don't know what you're talking about, he said. Then he went out to the gateway where another servant girl saw him and said to the, to the, to the people there, the fellow was with Jesus of Nazareth. He denied it again with an oath. I don't know. The man. After a little while, those standing there, those standing there, went up to Peter, and said, "Solely, you are one of them. Your accent gives you a way." Then he began to call down curses, and he swore to them, "I don't know the man." Immediately, a rooster crowed. Then Peter remembered the word Jesus had spoken before the rooster crows, "You will, you will." disowned me three times, and he went outside and wept bitterly, and wept bitterly. Peter, Jesus' first words to Simon Peter were, Come, follow me, Mark chapter 1, verse 17. His last words to, 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 to him were, You must follow me, John chapter 21, verse 22. Every step of the way between those between the between those two 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 challenges, Peter never failed to follow, even though he often stumbled. When Jesus entered Peter's life, this plain this plain fisherman became a new person with new goals and new priorities. He did not become a perfect person, however, and he never stopped and he never stopped being Simon Peter. We may wonder. What Jesus saw, saw in Simon that made him, that made him, that made him great, that made him greet, greet this, greet this, greet this, greet this potential disciple with a new name, Peter, the rock, impulsive, impulsive Peter certainly didn't act like it, like a rock much at the time, but when Jesus chose his followers, he wasn't looking for martyrs. He was looking for real people. He chose people who could, who could be changed by his love. And then he sent them, and then he sent them, and then he sent them out to communicate that his, that his, that his acceptance was available to anyone, even to those who often fail. We, we may wonder what Jesus Sees in us when he when he calls us to follow him, but we know Jesus accepted Peter, and in spite of his failures, Peter went on to do to do to do great things for God. Are you willing to keep following Jesus even when you fail? Strengths and accomplishments became the became the recognized leader among Jesus' disciples. One of the one of the inner group uh, three was the first was the first great voice of the gospel of the gospel during and during and after Pentecost. Probably knew Mark and gave him information for the for the gospel of Mark. Quote one and two Peter and two Peter weaknesses and mistakes often spoke without thinking was brash and impulsive. During Jesus' trial, denied three times that he even knew Jesus. Later, la later found, it, found it hard to treat Gentile Christians as equals. Lessons from his life. Enthu enthusiasm has to, be, has, to, has to be backed up by faith and understanding or with fails. God's faithfulness can compensate for our greatest unfaithfulness. It is better to be a follower who sometimes who sometimes 
fails than one who fails to follow vital statistics. Statistics. Occu occupations. Fisherman, disciple, relatives, father, John, brother, Andrew, contemporaries, Jesus, Pallet, Howard, Howard, A-N-T-I-P-A-S, key verse. And I tell you that you, that you, are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of Hades will not, will not overcome it. Matthew chapter 16, verse 18. Peter's story is told in the Gospels and the book of Acts. He is mentioned in Galatians chapter 1, verse 18, verse 18, and chapter 2, verses 7 to 14. And he, and he, and he wrote the books of 1 and 2 Peter, and 2 Peter. The Council of Religious Leaders condemns Jesus. Mark chapter 15, verse 1. Luke chapter 22, verses 66 to 71. To 71. Matthew chapter 27. Early in the morning, all the tree priests and the elders, other people made their plans how to have, how to have Jesus executed. So they bound him, led him away, and handed him over to Pilate, the governor. The governor. Judas hangs, hangs himself. When Judas, who had betrayed him, saw that Jesus was condemned, he was seized with remorse and returned the thirty pieces of silver to the, to the chief priests and the elders. I have sinned, he said. For I have betrayed innocent blood. What is that to us? They replied. That's your responsibility. So Judas threw the money into the temple and left. Then he went away and hanged himself. The chief priest picked up the coins and said, It is against the law to put this into the, into the treasury since it is blood money. So they decided to use the money to buy, to buy, to buy the potter's field as a burial place for foreigners. That is why it has been, 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 been called the field of blood to the, to this day. Then what was spoken by Jeremiah the prophet was fulfilled. They took the, the 30 pieces of silver, the price set on him by the people of Israel, and they used them and they used them to buy to buy the potter's field as the Lord commanded me. Commanded me. Jesus stands trial before Pilate. Mark chapter 15 verses 2 to 5. Luke chapter 23 verses 1 to 5. John chapter 18 verses 28 to 38. Meanwhile, Jesus stood, stood before the governor and the governor asked him, are you, are you, are you the king of the Jews? You you have said so, Jesus replied. When he was accused by the chief priests and the elders, he gave no answer. Then Pilate asked him, Don't you hear the, the testimony they are, they are bringing against you? But Jesus made no reply, not even to a single charge. To the great amazement of the governor, of the governor. Psalm chapter 33, verses 1 to 11. Psalm chapter 33. Theme, because God is creator, Lord, Savior, and deliverer, he is worthy of our trust and praise because he is faithful and his word is dependable. We can rejoice and sing, giving thanks and praise. Author, 
Anonymous. Anonymous. Psalm chapter 33. Sing joyfully to the Lord, you righteous. It is fitting for the upright to praise him. Praise the Lord with the harp. Made music to him on the, on the, on the. Ten string lyres sing to him a new song. Play skillfully and shout for joy. For the word of the Lord is right and true. He is faithful in all. He does the Lord loves righteousness and justice. The earth is full of his unfailing love. By the word of the Lord, the heavens were made. The story hosts by the breath of his mouth. He gathers the waters of the sea into jars. He puts the deep into into storehouses. Let all the earth, let all the earth, fear the fear the fear the Lord. Let all, let all. The, 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 the people of the world reveal him. For he spoke, and it came to be. He commanded, and it stood firm. The Lord, the Lord, the Lord foils the plans of the nations. He thyroids the purposes of the peoples. But the plans of the Lord stand firm forever. The purposes of his heart through all generations. Do all generations. Proverbs chapter 8, verses 33 to 36. Proverbs chapter 8. Verses 33 to 36. Listen to, listen to. My instruction and be wise. Do not disregard it. Bless are those who listen to me, watching daily at my doors, waiting at my doorway for those who 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 find me find life and receive favor from the from the Lord. But those who fail to find to find me harm themselves. All who hate me love death. Love death. Okay, that's all. Bye.